Hello everyone, welcome to another video here again. So, I am here with this HP Pavilion laptop uh, from the mid to late 2000s. Um, this is a HP Pavilion DB9000 series laptop, more specifically the DB9417CL model. Um, I had this in my uh, computing collection for a while now, and uh, yeah, I, I've done some stuff to this. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty unique laptop for what it is. I mean, um, it's not pretty much the best laptop that you can get, but like for me, it it it's fine for what for what I need it for. I mean, cause like I had a laptop similar of this model but it's like a 14 inch screen size this one's a 17 inch screen size so it has a trash it has a was well, a numpad and a bigger screen too so yeah i'm gonna be doing something here uh, since i'm gonna be uh installing an an os that i i've never installed on here well it is based off of windows 7 but what I'm going to be installing in this thing is um, Windows Embedded POS Ready 7. And POS Ready means that it's point to sale ready, not um, that other kind of word that might get me demonetized if I say it out loud. But jokes aside, um, point to sale is basically like uh, cash registers and whatnot, maybe ATMs that run a version of Windows, Windows embedded pretty much. And this version of Windows is pretty much designed to run on that because it because it's more power efficient, you know, than just having a regular uh, Windows 7 install uh, for embedded use. And Windows Embedded POS Ready 7 is pretty much a, a componentized version of Windows 7 pretty much so it it kind of removes all the unnecessary features that are not needed for an embedded space so yeah without rambling uh, about a minute or so let's go ahead and power this thing on and get to installing so I'll zoom in my camera here And I will hit, I will hit OK, um, well, when it says that, I press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Now this is a 64-bit version of Windows Embedded POS Ready 7. And it's going to take its time to load the files. Now, while this is doing, while while this is doing uh, the installation thing, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this laptop, um, cause um, I got this laptop um, not too long ago. It was like a few months ago, pretty much. And I got it because, uh, well, I had the other laptop, which is actually sitting right behind me. It's a it's a HP Pavilion DB twenty six twenty US uh, laptop. It's a fourteen inch uh, laptop from that same era, and uh, that was pretty much the the computer that I used back in like the late two thousands, two thousand eight, two thousand nine ish or something. Ran Windows Vista Home Premium and didn't really have any problems with it, aside from a few minor hiccups here and there. It it it. It was solid for me, pretty much. But anyways, here we are. Um, it's starting up Windows. Now you can see the boot screen is pretty much identical to Windows 7. But we can see here, this whole thing is different. It opens up a command prompt when it starts up the GUI process. 
and the background, the setup background is different. Oh, and this too, this bitmap here is also different as well, this picture. Instead of it saying Windows 7, it now says Windows Embedded POS Ready 7. <laughs> but, you know, I kind of expected it to be similar to Windows 7 in the setup process and um, when we get into the desktop later on in this video, because the whole procedure is pretty much exactly the same as it is. Nothing has changed. I know Windows um, Embedded POS Ready 2009, which was based off of XP Service Pack 3, it had a completely different uh, setup procedure over the standard Windows XP install. For one, it doesn't use that it doesn't use that uh, classic text mode s interface setup. It doesn't use that classic text mode interface for setup, obviously, and uh, uses the the new um, the new pre-installation environment base setup. But anyways, we're gonna read the license terms and that's pretty much all there is for license terms. For Windows Embedded POS Ready 7. And notice that we don't have the option to choose between if we want to upgrade or custom because this is uh, an embedded version of Windows so it doesn't really need that. <laughs> this version was pretty much Based for a uh, like a a business environment for um, pretty much in uh, cash registers, uh, ATMs, and whatnot. So it was really meant for that. But I'm install I'm installing it on <laughs> just regular commodity PC hardware, pretty much like a laptop. All right. So this is all the partitions that I have on this computer and. This is one thing that's that, that's about this uh, setup here, is that on POS Ready 2009, you can, from what I, from my understanding, you can only install it on on the partitions that are that are labeled as um, primary partitions, not logical partitions or extended partitions. You cannot install POS Ready 2009 on extended partitions and such. But on Windows Embedded POS Ready 7, you can. Because it is, well, it is based off of Windows 7, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and format this because I did set all the partitions up. I rearranged them up in a, a Chronos OS selector. Yes, I do have a Chronos OS selector. In fact, I have it on a bootable CD. <laughs> Could you believe that? And uh, usually, um, as as we do our ways here, um, we don't want to go go ahead with uh, a Chronos's way of NTFS formatting. So we pretty much just format it under Windows Setup, which is what we're doing right here. I actually did it two times just to show you but yeah so I'm gonna be installing it here in this 40 gig partition I'll click next and now it's gonna go ahead into installing the Windows stuff so it's gonna be copying the files and it's gonna expand the files then it's gonna be installing the features updates and complete the install so it's gonna take a while so I'll be back with you in a bit alright so it's finished expanding the Windows files now it's installing all the features all right it's finished doing that now it's going to install the updates for us and then after it does that it'll prompt us to restart in a few seconds there it is window needs to restart to continue restart now okay so yep so computer is rebooting itself now this laptop uh, ha has an SSD in it pretty much <laughs> yeah I put an SSD in here you know I originally had a spitting hard disk drive in here it's a 500 gig uh, spitting hard disk drive um, when I when I saw an SSD yep see so, yeah, <laughs> you can see the option there on the screen it says Windows Embedded Standard that's what's reading it as but this is Windows Embedded POS Ready 7 obviously which I think is based on Windows Embedded Standard 7 I guess 
Same boot screen as Windows 7 because that's basically what it is. Setup is uh, updating registry settings. Starting services. Oh, we. <laughs> that's a completely back black background. All right, here we are. So uh, now it's completing the install, and we have a higher resolution now. I think after it does this, it'll it'll prompt us with the words, "Please, setup will continue after restarting your computer." That's what it's gonna do, pretty much. Oh, and my battery's dying, so we'll grab another battery pack before this one dies. It's doing all the video hardware and stuff. Alright, switch to another battery pack. Setup will continue after restarting your computer. Now that's in a black background. <laughs> Kind of a little bit eerie if you ask me. Seeing that message without a background because, well, this is Windows embedded uh, POS Ready 7, so there is going to be some differences with the setup procedures. Normal Windows 7 usually has a background there. <sighs> but if you think about it, uh, Windows 11 uh, lock screen background, when it's starting up and shutting down, it also has a black background too. So, yep, so we'll enter in that. Starting Windows. So, I suspect that once we get here, it's going to go through the whole same procedures, pretty much. Like checking video performance, CPU performance, and whatnot. Yep, setup is preparing your computer for first use. Checking video performance. And alright, we're here. Windows Embedded POS Ready 7. I'm going to type in my name. And I will not type in the password now. I'll set that up later. We'll use the recommended settings just because why not. So I already got my network set up. I had to cut, the, cut out that previous part because... Well, for privacy reasons and such. But I got the network... All set up and working now <laughs> that notes that this wireless card is working fine um, it wasn't even working before this but now it works all of a sudden <laughs> strangely enough but here we are um, let's just select home network because this is actually connected up to the router here in my room connecting all right so now it's finalizing its settings Alright, and here's here's its login screen. Different branding at the bottom, but the login screen is different from the standard Windows 7 install. And once we get to the desktop, it's just going to be a normal Windows 7 uh, desktop environment. Preparing your desktop. And there we are. We're in normal. <laughs> it looks like normal Windows 7 pretty much. Well, that's because um, unlike Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009, which had a different uh, theme, Windows Embedded uh, POS Ready 7 pretty much uses the exact same Windows 7 uh, desktop pretty much. Alright, so here we are. Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. Properties. It still says Windows Embedded Standard, but this is Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. If we go to Winbur, yep, Windows Embedded POS Ready 7. Oh wait, why did I say POS Ready 2009 earlier? I meant to say POS Ready 7. But yeah, um, here it is. Uh, it is a 64-bit operating system because I do have a 
standard uh, Windows 7 Pro 32-bit on here just because uh, I heard somewhere that a 32-bit version of Windows on this particular laptop, you know, for Vista and 7 will run, will run sufficiently well than the 64-bit versions do, but yeah, it got working wireless too. Let's just connect to the internet just for just for a little test. I'll go into Google. Um, okay, I'll have to go through this. No, don't turn on. I'll show those. Yes. Keep. Yes. Alright, and I'll go into a Google website. And go show that. Just to demonstrate that this actually connects to the internet in 2023. Yep, there we have it. We got Google up and running on this laptop from 2007-2008-ish. And I'll type in uh, if, if it's going to allow me to. A little bit sluggish. <laughs> I'm also going to have to use Snappy Driver Installer to get all the drivers uh, for it, pretty much. Anyways, so uh, Windows Embedded POS Ready 7. Wow, Microsoft life cycle. I'm going to actually open that up in the, another tab. Windows Embedded Industry. Oh, that opens up in the... That's a Wikipedia page and it doesn't really open up in here. But yeah, I can also go to Legacy Update. Uh, oh, all these are not displaying now. Because this is a browser that do not support advanced SSL TLS connections. But yeah, I got Windows Embedded POS Ready 7 up and running on here. Obviously, um, as of now, um, I don't know if POS Ready 7 is already out of support at this point. It might have been, but... It'll receive, at this time, it'll receive um, extended uh, security updates for ESU paid updates uh, up in, via subscription up until uh, next year, January of next year, I guess. So it'll be supported with ESU updates for about one year before being officially out of support. So, yeah. That's that is that then so I'll go ahead and shut her on down and I'll set all this up uh, off camera so yeah thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one see you later